everyone, CJ here from Hyatt Family Adventures and you're joining me today in the back of my Tahoe, the back of my SGV because I'm going to try to show you how to make a window covering or how we make our window coverings which has worked out very very well for us. Um, we didn't have a chance to do our back window so that's what I'm focusing on before we go on the next leg of our journey. Uh, come and join me. All right. So, things we need, handy dandy duct tape, can't go anywhere without this, when the kids get get crazy and act up, I'm just joking, I really am joking, don't call CPS on me. Alright, <laughs> the next thing we're going to need is, we got these, um, they're like yoga mats or working mats for, um, like when you work in a garage or shop or um, even in preschools they have these and they're pretty they're pretty thick and they have these little things so you can put them together so um, you know one part goes into the other part but we just got like a pack of eight of these for was it eight or ten for about eight or nine bucks um, so you get these and then you can just cut them down to size big small you can really get into like odd angles because cars are car windows are shaped kind of weird um, I use a little bit of clamps these are El Cheapo kinds but you can use any kind of clamps and then we have <laughs> mylar so this is this is just like the regular first aid kit mylar you can order those on Amazon I think I got like a pack of eight for relatively pretty cheap like under under 15 bucks I think all right, so that's everything I need. I have gone ahead and measured out this window, and I just duct taped all the little pieces so you can see that I had to put a couple pieces here to fill in that gap, I had to put a couple pieces here, and then I just duct taped them together, and it covers up the window pretty well. And then from the outside, because I have a light tint on my back window, you can't even really see this, um, I like to wrap mylar around it just for a little additional insulation. As you can see, this is already pretty thick itself, so it works as really great insulation of keeping um, especially the cold out. But I'm going to put mylar on it uh, just for an additional insulation value. Um, I don't know if it really helps or not, but it makes me think that it's being more effective so sanity purposes and also it helps to keep all, all the the uh, jerry rig bits and pieces together so if they start to fall apart and the mylar is kind of there as a wrapping and I duct tape it on a little bit um, tight um, just to make sure everything stays together and it held up pretty well all right let me get to the fun part of putting this window together window covering together Voila! Um, not my best work. You can make it as pretty or as ugly as you want. Uh, this is going to get the job done and that's all that really matters to me. Um, it's going to be tossed around and kicked around anyways. Um, as long as the mylar stays in place and the duct tape, I have more duct tape available if the duct tape starts falling off, it's going to do the job. It's going to do the job. So I'm happy with it. Let's take a look again. So this is the inside. And uh, you can put, I know I've seen YouTube tutorials and videos where people put really, really pretty um, like cloth over it and they'll fabric glue it or they'll, I don't know, staple it or bedazzle it because they want the inside of the heart of the car to look really homey or they're inside like a van or an RV. Um, you can do that. I may end up doing that one day to make it look pretty, but we really only have these up um, for the purposes of keeping us warm 
uh, when we're in really cold places uh, when we sleep in the car and not the tent because it happens <laughs> let me tell you <laughs> you do not want to be sleeping in 10 degree weather in a nylon tent that's not a four season or three plus season tent <laughs> one of the lessons learned on the road all right so this is what it looks like on the inside and like I said um, the girls and uh, Hudson and I will put these up at nighttime when we're about to sleep it just gives us um, you know a level of privacy and then it gives us um, the benefit of keeping us insulated and also the windows don't really accumulate too much condensation um, because we have these up. All right, so let's take a look at what it looks like on the outside. All right, so this is what it looks like on the outside. So it's it's full, full on daytime right now. So, I mean, you can obviously see that there's something in the window, um, but at nighttime it actually works out really well because I have a, like I said, a natural light tint on the windows. And when it's dark and that's up, it keeps out um, any light from you know leaking out of the car. And again, the main purpose for it is to serve as insulation. So it's the back window I just finished for you. And then this over here, you can't even see, you can only see the reflection of the house next to us. Um, you can't even really see, but boom, we actually do have one in here. So we, we label these, so this is daddy's side because daddy's usually the driver and the mommy has one on her side and uh, I put a little note. Alright, but, <laughs> but yeah, so this is what's on the outside. So like I said, this is um, actually contact paper. So contact paper and then I just cut it down, I put it on and that's what it looks like and then a little bit of it fell so let me see oh there so you can see the inside now so really big difference all right so that was the how to make a window covering installation uh, video tutorial so my first one forgive me if it wasn't perfect I was the only one working the camera and uh, this is go day so this is not you know pretty and ready for video face or clothing uh, it is just as we go so if you like our adventures uh, go ahead and click on like and please subscribe to us if you're interested in more you can always find us on social media with the hashtag Hyatt Fam 5 or Hyatt Family Adventures thanks so much guys bye